Hello guys, my name is Shani SK, SAP of SEO, HANA Finance, MM and CS Email China. I am real time SAP advisory and working in uh, banking management and treasury and work as a project manager in DXC. So the today concept is uh, MT940 format. So today uh, I will discuss about uh, MT940 format only. So here uh, so many formats like uh, BA, MT940 and multi cash formats that you can also use uh, for the EBS, electronic bank statement. So once you run the EBS configuration, then next step is you will have to upload the uh, MD940 format. Then system will clear the uh, clear the accounts and also you can also post subledges. So here the format is uh, uh, BA format channel recommended by SAP itself. So actually this format is recommended by SAP itself, the BA format. And most probably, so most of the company, most of the banking systems will use uh, MT940 format. So actually this MT940 format is uh, uh, just like SIFT standard. Uh, this is banking communication standard. So you can also transfer electronic transformation of the account statements data. So MT940 format used with the SIFT network. So the banking, uh, uh, the banks will use SIFT network. Then uh, MT940 format is the best option. And this is just like a send receiving end of the day uh, bank accounting statements. So in general why this concept comes into pictures earlier, uh, so there is no ERPs. So we have huge reconciliations uh, between the ledgers and uh, bank passbook. Now that was that concept was eliminated. So in the SAP we have manual, uh, EPA, manual uh, reconciliation and electronic bank statement reconciliation. So both are not same. So I am talking about only EBS. EBS is the very important concept in real time. So if you are completely new to um, this MD940 format or uh, if you don't aware the EBS configuration and all, please ignore this topic. And uh, so once you get it the or once you get the good knowledge on this concept, then please watch this video. So here uh, MD940 format should be this sample format has given in this place. MT940 format. Okay, so this is a standard shift. Uh, this is uh, this is just like a shift standard and banking communication standard. So it is just for electronic transmission of accounting statement data. I will explain uh, this format right now. So up to this, uh, up to this, this is header data and 6186. This is transactional data and this one is a footer data so this is header and these two are line items this three these two are line items and uh, these two are footer details so what data will contain with the header so this is a 20 is just like a statement date so 20 is the statement date and 25 is the account identification bank key Okay, 25 is the bank key. 25 is the bank key. And this one is account number. This one is account number. Or sometimes it may be IBAN number. Okay, this is IBAN number and this one is bank key. And this one is bank statement number. So this is the statement date. 20 is the statement date. And this one is the bank key and IBAN number and 28C is the bank statement number and 60F is the 60F is the D for debit and this is the date this is the date and this is currency and this is the amount so debit amount and 61 is the opening balance opening balance D for debit D for date and currency and amount so this is this is date and the second one is 61 one minute 61 is there right so this is 61 is the date posting date and credit and third one is characteristics of currency gbb transaction amount semi fixed value this is line item level these two are line items okay and these two are line items and this 62F, 62F is the closing balance. Closing balance, credit, date, currency and amount. So closing balance, date, currency and amount. 64, 
is the 64 is the available balance 60 F is the closing balance 64 is the available balance so credit credit date currency amount credit date amount currency this is amount this is credit this is currency and this is date and this is credit so you can see this is the format like so header details contain the statement date account information bank key account number bank statement number opening balances and the transactional data transactional line items and transactional details and footer data closing balances and available balances so this is all about mp940 format so thank you very much and if it is possible i will definitely upload bf format okay so we will see you soon thank you so much